Hi everybody, this is Kevin Conway from Conway's Vintage Treasures, and I want to do something a little different today. Have you ever been uh, contacted via email, uh, by your bank, by your credit card company, or even PayPal, uh, with an email that looks a little suspicious, asking you to verify your account or um, uh, correct your personal information? I want to show you an email I got a few days ago. This was on the 25th, and you'll notice it's from PayPal, and it says, notification of limited account access so right away there's a sense of urgency I want to go in there and find out what's going on here and the first thing I do when I get an email like this uh, I want to make sure it's legitimate I want to make sure it's not coming from a fraudulent entity that's going to try to uh, conduct identity theft or get access to my my financial accounts and obviously do grave damage there so the first thing I look at when I open up an email that I'm most suspicious about is uh, where it says hello. Um, if you've been on eBay for a while, and even your credit card companies and banks, they'll always address your name. They, they won't address uh, a business name, or to me what looks like they extracted some information from an email, which is what I think happened here. Um, so right away that's a red flag when it says hello, other than my name here. It says CB Treasures, that's my website address. Um, the next thing I look at is uh, who is who's it from and uh, up here it says it's from PayPal and then it says service at paypal.com but if you look closely look at the uh, spelling of PayPal they actually misspelled it and, and added two L's instead of one so now there's two red flags so I'm I'm almost sure now that this is a illegitimate email from a fraudulent activity trying to get access to my personal information but I want to double check and I come over here and I look at the links. There's a couple links. Log into your PayPal account as soon as possible. Notice again the sense of urgency. And the reason why they want you to do this as quick as possible because traditionally PayPal will shut this down as, as soon as possible if it is a, a fraudulent site. So I'm going to click on this log into PayPal. And if you notice, um, PayPal has shut this site down already. Because a couple days ago when I came in here, it was the PayPal website, or what looked to be like the PayPal website. So that's what they do. They actually duplicate the site, whether it's your bank site or PayPal or credit card company, to make it look exactly like the real site, to make it look legitimate. But the first thing you want to do is come right up here at the website address, where it should say paypal.com. And notice what happens here after the .com. It doesn't end there like it's supposed to. It goes on with this long appended website address, which is essentially redirecting you to this, this server of this fraudulent company or person who's redirecting you to their own server uh, for the purpose of capturing your information once you log in with your ID and password. So like I said a couple days ago, this, there was a login screen here to log in with PayPal, but I didn't do it because when I came up here, I noticed right away that it was not a legitimate PayPal address and it was a fraudulent um, attempt to get access to my, my financial information and, and do um, uh, serious damage, obviously, in PayPal. They could have gone in there and started sending funds to a, a illegitimate uh, account. And um, anyways... Um, the, the, the other thing that you want to do when you get a, uh, a email like this that you're suspicious about, do not log into your PayPal account. If it's your bank, don't log into your bank because once you do it, they capture that information. You want to contact PayPal or your bank and either pick up the phone and call them. Uh, with PayPal, uh, another thing you can do is you can send them an email to uh, an address called spoof at PayPal dot com and what that does is sends it to a department where they'll verify if it's a legitimate email or not and I'll just say I'll put something like suspect fraud email and then I'll send that to them and you usually get a response within a day or two um, whether it's a legitimate email or not so um, again be very careful out there this is uh, this is a problem that's just gonna probably uh, get more and more serious and multiply because everybody today is on their smartphone or computer and all these fraudulent entities and people out there are trying to run these scams to get your personal or financial information. So good luck and be careful out there and I hope this helped.